Hi, I'm Mr. Jody, and this is trumpet lesson number four for the beginner, how to read the notes and play the notes on the trumpet. On the trumpet, you have three basic vowels, and different combinations of vowels will allow you to play different types of notes. For example, a scale sounds like this. In other words, the scale is a, a basic uh, pattern of notes. I'm going to start at the C scale, and I'm going to start in the low C, go up to middle C. Sounds like this. And you notice I did different combinations of vowels, and that's what we need to learn. We need to learn the different notes. Now we're going to start simple. Since this is the beginning lesson, we do need to start with the very basics. Now you've already learned uh, some notes as we've played in our first lessons that we've taken. If you haven't seen the uh, lesson one, two, and three videos, I would highly encourage you to do that because that's going to give you a good foundation to build on here. Uh, but uh, you can check that out at www.learnitonlinetoday.com. But for right now, we are doing the notes. We're learning how to play the notes, learning how to use the different patterns, and we're going to learn some basic notes. We're just going to learn about four to five right now to start with, and we'll keep adding to that as we go. <laughs> Now to start with, we need to know some of the basic uh, terms or the basic way uh, that music is written on the page. First of all, you have what's called our, what are called staff lines. Uh, when you play music or you see music written, music is going to have five staff lines. Uh, you're going to see those five staff lines there. And those five staff lines are where the notes are going to be placed. And, and depending on where they are, it's going to depend on what note it is. Now there's two different types of, uh, of sets of staff lines. You either have a treble clef, or you have a bass clef. A treble clef is uh, going to tell you, that that's what we use for trumpet in other words, or some of the higher instruments will use a treble clef. And that treble clef, that sign that you see there is going to tell you uh, what the position of the notes are and depending on what the names of the notes are. And the bass clef is usually the lower instruments uh, like uh, tubas or a uh, baritone or something like that or a trombone would be using a bass clef. And so uh, depending on what instrument you play and depending on where the notes are, whether they're lower or higher notes, it's going to depend on which clef it is. But for the trumpet, it's a treble clef instrument, also known as a, a G clef, that, that kind of thing. Um, and if you hear somebody talk about uh, different keys as well, and we're not going to go into all that detail here right now. It's a little bit more than we need to go into. But a trumpet is, is considered a B-flat instrument. That's the, that's the key of the trumpet, the way it's made. Uh, but it is a treble clef instrument. So that's what we're going to be using when we see, when we see our music in our notes. Um, so let's, uh, let's take a look at that a little bit. Uh, if you're going to look at the note G, G goes right in the staff line. Uh, it goes right up there uh, for middle G. You'll see that written on the staff line. You'll see where that is now. Uh, that, that's how you play a G. That's what you'd see a G at. What if you're going to play, uh, like we've talked about in some of the other lessons, a low C? Where's that? Oh, well, that goes below the staff lines. Yeah, that, that goes a little bit below, and you, there's a little slash that goes through it that kind of tells you that it's extending those uh, staff lines a little bit more. Um, it's just lower than uh, the, the normal five staff lines is all. Um, then what if we played an F? Well, you'll see where an F is. That goes in the open space now. Uh, so that's where the F belongs. So how to read the music? It just takes time, it takes practice to know what the notes are and where they are. Uh, and uh, you'll learn that as you go through it. And the more you practice it, the, the easier it becomes to read it. It's like reading any kind of th anything at all. You just have to learn the small words first and get bigger and bigger as you go along. Um, so the idea that we're gonna, I want to make sure that you know is, is to know what notes to play. You can download what's called a fingering chart. You can download that at the website at www.learnitonlinetoday.com under the trumpet lesson area. And you can download that fingering chart. That'll tell you all the combinations of the vowels for the trumpet for all the notes um, that we typically play as a trumpet player. And I would suggest doing that and just uh, keep that tucked away in a nice music folder or wherever you have it there and uh, use that. Refer to that often. As you're learning the notes, use that, look at it, refer to it so that you can play the proper notes in the, in the, in the, as we go along. Um, so you said you played other instruments. What are these other instruments? Well, um, I just call this the dog horn and you blow right into its right butt it makes a beautiful noise. Yeah, it's pretty good. You're jealous, aren't you? I can tell that you're jealous. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs>
Um, but again, we're starting out simple here, so we're not getting too complicated yet. I'm just going to play starting with C. We want to start there, so if you have your trumpet, let's go ahead and try this. Starting with C, it's open, no valves down. D is first and third valve, so you're going to put first and third valve down together. E is first and second valve. F is first valve. And G is open. So this is the first basic set of notes that we need to learn as we start our lessons, as we start uh, learning how to play the trumpet. We're going to kind of use those notes quite a bit. Uh, and we'll keep adding notes a little bit higher and a little bit lower as we go throughout things. But keep practicing on those for now. Practicing so you memorize what note is what pattern with the vowels. So again, I'm going to play it one more time and play a little faster this time. And using my tongue, as if you've learned in our tonguing lesson, we're going to tongue each note this time. So here we go. How'd you do? When you transfer notes, in other words, I go from an open to first and third, this is where it takes a little practice when you first start, is being able to push down both valves together. Let's practice that for just a moment. We're going to do this, we're going to go back and forth from C to D, C to D. Let's practice it like about four times. How'd that feel? Getting the hang of it? And again, just pushing the valves down all the way. Again, one of the things we want to make sure to do is push the valves down all the way. What happens sometimes uh, is that we don't get it down all the way, we kind of put it halfway. It sounds like this. And, and that's what we want to practice. We want to make sure to snap those valves down. Don't need to smash it down like this. Otherwise, it's going to affect your playing because it'll move your horn and you don't want to do that. You want, you want to snap it down but not push it down so hard that it messes everything else up. So that's what you need to practice on. Practice getting that, that transition from one note to the next. There you go. Now, one thing we haven't talked about yet either is what's called the spit valve on the trumpet. Now, as you start playing more, you're going to notice you get this weird sound like a... I tried to kind of make it up for you there, but you'll hear this weird kind of a rattling sound and go, what is that? That's usually because you're building up spit in your trumpet. What you need to do is you got to get that out of there. So the way to do it is you have what's called the spit valve here. You hold it open and blow. Just like that. And you might want to take your valves and also push them down and try to get it out of the valve. Get all that spit out of there. Now, depending on where you are, uh, it's kind of polite to have a nice uh, Kleenex or something to hold over there and spit it into there, and that way you're not uh, spitting it on somebody's floor. But it kind of depends on where you are. If you're in a band room or you no, know, whatever, and it doesn't really matter, I guess just go ahead and let the spit out. Yeah, whatever. Anyhow, enough about that. But that's what you want to make sure to do. Make sure to empty your spit valve every now and then because your horn will build up spit and it is important to get rid of that. Uh, but uh, so that's the basic notes and basic patterns. Again, download that fingering chart. That will help you out quite a bit as we get going. And it's almost time. In the next lesson, we're actually going to start to play a little bit of a song. And so that's exciting stuff. Keep on practicing. Keep checking out more of the trumpet lessons at www.learnitonlinetoday.com. Goodbye.